What's up, Detroit? It's your boy, Papa Duck. And your girl, Miss Smith. And y'all tuned in to the hottest video show in the B, the, the video, video shop. shop. And we here with none other than 40 to break. What's up, big dog? 40 Kill Patrick, you already know what it is. Dig that. That's the beat till I did it. Self-made, self-made is in the building. Yes. Dig that. What's happening, big dog? Uh, nothing much, man. You know, just trying to stay out of long run with the law. Trying to stay away from their reaches and uh. But you got your hand in is. a whole lot of stuff. Oh, man, definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm talking about from music to movies. I mean, man, video hot, you know, let's talk a little bit about the music. Okay, definitely. Uh, well, right now, I'm promoting hard the uh, Streets is Mine, Volume 2. Go get you a copy, you know what I'm saying? Now I got it. it. You can, uh, <laughs> you can uh, go pick it up at your local mom and pop stores, and you can also get it through Justice Distributed and uh, at Shantanique's, all the Shantanique's locations. And you can go get it from my MySpace at www40, the word 40, dagreat.com. You know what I'm saying? So definitely go on there, check it out. It's a hot mixtape. DJ by DJ Smalls. He's one of the hottest DJs in the South. So, uh, you know, go get you a copy, baby. Stop up down. Then die. You, you see me? Just you know? Shantanique's. You hear me? Or either go to his MySpace. You want CD, baby? Definitely. Go to CD, baby. Get PayPal. PayPal. Pick it up. Go get the ringtone off of, uh, <laughs> what's that, uh, Meyer? What, what, what is that? Mixer. 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 There you go. Go get the ringtone with Boss Up. And, I mean, you know, we just, we out here grinding. We trying to get it however we can get it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the city don't got a lot of opportunities, so sometimes you got to create doors to walk through. You know? And you know what? That's what the video shop is. Trying to right. create them doors for y'all to come through, man. Because when Definitely. you got hot artists such as yourself, and I'm talking about in the camp you with, self-made, and then you walk through the with the DC movement. Yes. DC! Yes. DC! Yes. You did? I mean, y'all doing a lot of things, man. But to see you branch off, and you know what I'm saying, it's being able to stand strong, man, that's a, that's. That's something that got to be honored, man. Yeah, you yeah, know? definitely, man. It's um, it's been a long road, but I'm definitely blessed for all the opportunities that came my way. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it's uh, it's it's real out here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, as far as um, I remember Ms. Smith was asking me earlier about who I had producing on the um, uh, on the yeah, on the uh, <laughs> mixtape, and I got a couple tracks from Kid. I got some um, tracks from my homeboy Tony Buns, Tony my Bones. homeboy Rallo. One of my um, homeboys, Gaz, he did the I Want You track, the Ray J joint. It's been blazing the streets that I've been promoting for so long. Mm -hmm. And uh, my homeboy, Kazi, you know what I'm saying? So I got a couple cats on there. Then, uh, what's up? What's up? The Boss Up single that I got, that I um, just been promoting, mm -hmm. Shorty Red, old boy who did all the Jeezy stuff y'all going crazy okay. for, he did that. So, you know, I'm, I'm just working hard, man, trying Tell to keep everything. Tell him what Killamar helped you on me, because he didn't help you on this Oh yeah, definitely. So, Kill 'em all. I just we just hollered at Kill 'em all actually for the new self made project and for the uh the, the, the uh 5K1 yeah. soundtrack. So uh Kill 'em all just did a track for us called Feeling Like a Star, okay. which is a hot track. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would have brought it with me today, but y'all be checking for that. Oh yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. So we already know we got a hot CD. Available right, for y'all. Exactly. Y'all tuned in to the hottest video show in the D, the, the video, video shop. And we're back with your boy 40 the Great, oh, no. self made in the building. Yeah, great video. And y'all just seen a hot video, man. Let's oh, talk man. about that. Oh, okay. Well, before we get on that, I want all the viewers out there to check out my internet TV show www.com. 40 the word 40 da great.com and it's called 40 days on house arrest you know what i'm saying so just go there and you can witness me and all my you know what i'm saying troubles with the law and now the video insinuated a little trouble that you running from the law <laughs> yeah but how you get hemmed up on this you know the thing you did man tell them to be on the be on mind tell them the viewers yeah man uh you know it's been a long road man you know what i'm saying it's been a long road but you know i'm gonna get it done you know what i'm saying i got I know a lot of cats out there because I was going so hard. I said the summer of 06, maybe 07 to 07 before all this happened. And uh, a lot of cats like, man, you know, 4140 been there, we're so made been that. And man, you know, we, we just took a loss, man. A lot of a lot of cats that we is in our group, like my my one cat, you know what I'm saying, Free Ocheta, just got locked up on a pistol case. And uh, you know what I'm free, saying? That? Free my man. Free Ocheta. Free Ocheta. For sure, for sure. And um, the, uh, like the vans, we had the vans out here popping. We was like, other than K Dub, we was like one of the only cats out here for, for a lot of duplicated the movement. You know what I'm saying? I know you see a lot of vans now, but we was like one of the first out here with vans and hard vans. You know what I'm saying? Real, real 
you know, we had a real movement going on. The police took our vans, man. And a whole bunch of stuff happened, like me catching a fed case in our court that I'm still fighting. You know what I'm saying? So it just it just basically it, it took a toll on the music and it and it and it and it took that away from the element of life that we was because the music was all we had. You know what I'm saying? We all in the streets, but we all dream and pray about one day being rap stars and you know what I'm saying, being businessmen. So it definitely, it definitely took that element out of our lives, man. And we just trying so hard to bring that back and bring everybody who follows self-made music, who follow 40 the great music. We trying to bring that back to y'all. I know it took a minute. I sat down for a minute, but I'm here now, you know what I'm saying? The fans didn't get me, so they didn't win just yet. Baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm still shining. I'm still looking good. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? I'll let you back, you know And I'm talking about you still at work, too, because definitely. from my understanding, you got a movie, a movie introduction. Yes, yes, yes. Man, this guy is doing movies up in the D, man. Yes. What's the name of the movie? Uh, the movie is called 5K1, which I know is, <laughs> it, it, I know you think it like, what does 5K1 mean? Why in the world would they name a movie 5K1? Well, 5K1 is what, uh, what we call in the hood a snitch. It's what you would get on your indictment papers if you ever been, if you ever were indicted by the federal government. So if somebody was saying, Papa Doc shot me. <laughs> he shot me in the leg. <laughs> he he shot did this. He did that. That guy would be on Papa Doc's papers. <laughs> okay. So I mean, you know, Papa Doc is not a criminal. He's a businessman. He's bringing you the video shot, but we just making an example right. on what a 5K1 is. So 5K1 is. We all, got passes. <laughs> we all got passes. We all got passes. We all got passes. So uh, 5K1 is just, it's just like basically. It's like a word for snitch, or if okay. someone okay. was snitching on you, then that's that's what the that's what they would call it. That's what the feds call it. Man, you got a lot of big hitters in that man. I'm talking about he got some heavy hitters. Man, you work with the likes of Clint Powell. Y'all yes. know who he is. Big Hurt, you know. Biggie. Oh, Big Hurt. Shout out to Big Hurt. That's my man. Uh, you got AJ Johnson in the film. Oh man. You know how was it to work with them cats, man? Oh man, it was beautiful. Oh, Young Mouth. Young Mouth. Young Mouth. Yeah. And my homeboy, uh, Melvin Jackson. Okay. Junior from The Wire. So. Uh, okay. okay. It was different, but it was fun, man. Okay. Everybody showed me a lot of love because that was my first time ever stepping out of my genre. You know, I usually okay. I'm a, I, I rap, you know what I'm saying? And that was the first time of me ever taking on an acting role. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Donnie. Donnie basically seen something in me. It was it was a vision that we had when I was working on the East Side Mirror. The East Side Mirror is still coming soon, man. I'm, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, but... It was a vision that we had when I was working on my first album that it hasn't been released yet. And we was wondering, like, man, a movie would really boost up, you know, the hype of the album. So we got to talking about it. And it was just a, it was just a thought. It was never, we never was going to actually shoot a movie, you know what I'm saying? But we talked about it so much and so often that, you know what I'm saying, we, we, we just put it on the floor. And Donnie had the script wrote. And man, and we read the script and we loved it. And he wanted me to star in the movie. He wanted the movie yeah. to be based around me. Yeah. And man, and, and we did it and we put it together and it was a beautiful thing. Man, you see what hard work do. Oh boy. You see Definitely. what hard work do.